All right, what is going on guys? Back with another video. And today we got some exciting. Now I'm not gonna be installing it in this video, but after two months of waiting, finally got the splitter for the front of the car. Now, when I, when I was at work, I got a text from my mom saying, hey, you got a very big package. And I'm like, I don't remember what I, I was like, oh wait, could it be my headers? Nope, wasn't the freaking headers. Headers got pushed back. So uh, yeah, I'm still waiting on my headers. I would prefer that, I would prefer that the headers came first before the splitter, but uh, the splitter came, so we're gonna get that installed. And it's not gonna be installed in this video. I'm just gonna um, unbox it and do all this other, other stuff, mock it up, and then I'll install it in the next video. Well, it's gonna be the same day, but different videos. Because every time I do this and I like do the install and the unboxing in the same video, the videos come out to be very very long. But yeah, just to keep the videos like short, shorter than like 15 minutes. <laughs> I'm going to be installing in the next video because every time I do these videos, it's like three or four hours of footage I got to edit and then it comes out to be like 30, 20 to 30 minutes. Then I have to chop down more just to make it even shorter. So there's like a lot of information left out and whatnot. So to prevent from having that happen again, I'm just going to do the unboxing in this video. Then I'm going to install it in the next video and whatnot. But before we do that, remember, get your merch, Tulip Creative Designs, link down in the description. Also, we got an interesting video coming up. We're gonna be taking the car to the track very soon and seeing what times they run at the strip. And there's only an eighth mile, I think. So just getting a like rough estimate of what it runs in the eighth mile. So we'll see. Uh, it's not tuned yet. Don't I don't have the header, so it's just the intake and exhaust on there right now. So we'll we'll see how it does. I'm not hoping for like insane numbers, obviously, because the car is pretty much still stock. So yeah. But I just want to throw that out there. So we're still waiting for the headers. Uh, the splitter. I went with the um, Aeroflow Dynamics uh, splitter, v, the V2 splitter or whatnot. I'm not sure the exact name, honestly. I just saw it and I was like, oh, that looks cool. Let's buy it. And it took a long time. Like, I, th I think I ordered it like a few days before Thanksgiving and I just got it. And so, yeah, it took a long time. Like, because I, at a certain point, I was like, um, did they forget my order or whatnot? But now they said it were, it's being fabricated and whatnot, and then it got delivered. I didn't even know it was getting delivered because I didn't even like receive any tracking or anything like that. But hey, it got delivered, so however way I got it, I got it. But yeah, I'm going to run to uh, Best Buy real quick, uh, get a tripod, get some food for lunch real quick. Um, and yeah, we're going to get this unboxed, and we're going to talk about it and mock it up on the car maybe. So yeah, we'll, what the hell? <laughs> So, just got out of Best Buy. Just got the uh, tripod. Not the one I wanted, but it'll do. I was looking for one that went taller than this, but I mean, it goes 58. 58 if I turn it this way. Okay, nope, turn it back this way. It goes 58. In, uh, well, well. But anywho, <laughs> it goes up 58 inches or so, so that should be good enough for when I'm working on my car and whatnot. Because I've noticed, like, every time I'm like trying to um, like make a video or whatnot, like, I need a tripod. And all the tripod I always use is my brother's tripod, and I never want to, you know, drive or get his tripod and whatnot. Why does my freaking thing? The wind is blowing like crazy here, and this thing always keeps flipping back like that. Anywho, but yeah, so I had to get a tripod because always I'm always using my brother's tripod, tripod, and when I'm, you know, at my place, I don't want to go and get his tripod. So I had to go get one. It was a necessary sacrifice. It wasn't that expensive either. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead get the uh, package and show you guys how big this dang box is. But yeah, I'll catch up with you guys then. All right, it is very windy outside today, like really windy. And I'm hope hopefully that when I'm recording this video, like it doesn't mess with the audio or anything like that. Even though I'm in the garage, it's still like wind's blowing in here a little bit. But yeah, here's the box right here. Let me, let me, let me just. Here, I, I'm six foot, six foot and a half. I'm six foot, all right. This box is at least six two, six three, maybe more. Yeah, it's a very big box. I didn't realize the box was gonna, box was gonna be that dang big. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna open this up real quick, but first I gotta uh, unbox the um, tripod so I can do that and you know use not use my hands while I'm uh, recording anymore. So yeah, let's get this open up real quick. Alrighty, so let's get this open. Shouldn't shouldn't be no assembly if I'm right. Yeah, no assembly. Maybe just a little bit of assembly? Oh no, oh, 
It can work with my phone too. And my GoPro. Hey. I mean, I already have one for my GoPro, but hey. That's cool. This honestly is not as tall as I thought it was gonna be. Like initially it's not a that's actually kinda good because sometimes when I'm working low, I don't want to have it that dang high. Oh wait, let me show you what I'm looking at. So yeah, that's how tall it is. It's hard to cap capture. <laughs> but yeah, that's how tall it is. That's like maybe a foot and a half off the ground, if not more. Alrighty, and we are set up on a new tripod. <sighs> not focus not focus all right yeah we are set up on a new tripod now let's just let's see how tall this thing can go i have my thing okay yeah, i have my thing secured i'm like do i have my camera secured before i pick this thing up hey can't even see me hey new tripod <laughs> uh oh wait and i can also crank it up let's see ooh, 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 ooh. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, I got the right one. Alrighty, so yeah. I'm gonna unbox that thing real quick. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get into it. See, I wanna point the camera that way. Like towards the car so you can see the car. But if I do that, you can't see me. So, uh, there's a, oh my God, I'm a, I'm a silhouette. I'm a freaking silhouette, dude. Oh, you, you can only see the white of my shirt. Oh my jet, the, ugh. Struggles. Don't have anything to open this up with. <laughs> I'll be right back. Also, I I did order splitter rods. I have no idea where they went. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna look for those real quick. Cause uh, oh, never mind. I see them. So yeah, did order splitter rods. I got these literally almost two months ago, and they're blue. I don't know if I'm gonna like the blue. I should have got red for the YouTube logos, but it's whatever. Blue is my favorite color, that's why I got blue. And it's literally like, man, this blue is so beautiful. <laughs> it's so, is this two different blues? I'm trying to figure out how I should open this. It's not a game, it's a red skin. The custom made splitter that took forever to get to me. <laughs> Alright, there any instructions on how to install this thing though? Because that'll be real nice. Okay. These are bolts. I need instructions on how to put this thing together. I'm, I don't know. Ah! Because I know I'm going to have to take that, uh, the uh, guard off. Under, underneath the car that keeps the car from like scraping when it's too low or keeps the front bumper from scraping when the car is too low to the ground or whatnot. Um, okay I'm really hoping there's instructions because even my uh my duck my wicker build didn't come with instructions and I had to figure out how to put that together I mean it wasn't too hard it, I mean it was really self-explanatory and this is really self-explanatory too but like this is also really expensive so I don't want to put it on wrong and not like torque a, torque a bolt down right yeah, because it comes with like spacers and stuff like that, so I am so confused. Uh, maybe they have some on their website. They're mo they most likely have it on their website. Oops. <laughs> I'm dropping it like it's nothing. I'm dropping it like this thing wasn't freaking expensive as hell. Alrighty, so I'm going to go ahead and take it out the packaging real quick. Uh, I'm going to check their website just to make sure they have instructions. Because uh, I was just going to just wing it and th start throwing the bolts in there. But um, those bolts or bolts are different sizes and they have spacers. So, uh, yeah. We're going to see. Boom. Aluminum. I'm glad it's not raw aluminum because I did not want to paint this. I'm going to be honest with you. So, yeah. I'm about to look up the uh, website just to see where. Um, or see if they have instructions on there. Uh, also, got to figure out where the heck the splitter rods go as well. Just to make sure I don't have to drill any holes myself. Hope I don't. I know I'm going to have to drill in my bumper itself, but other than that, I don't want to drill into that. 
Alrighty, so after much research, I gotta take the bumper off. So yeah, this is gonna be a two-part video. <laughs> so yeah, if you guys enjoyed, don't forget to ooh, went dark. But yeah, so if you guys enjoyed, don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe. I was trying to do this all in one video uh, initially. But yeah, I gotta take the bumper off, so that's gonna be a whole installation of itself. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on that in the next video. And yeah, you guys gonna see me jump right back into it just right now. Like, I'm gonna end this video, then I'm gonna start up the next video. But yeah, peace out.